Okay, I just accidentally stopped recording on accident, and I'm not going to- it looks like I'm using the editing software because I'm going to have to edit those two together because I'm not going to, like, undo that again. So hopefully that works, or otherwise this is going to be in two parts on YouTube, which is probably better because it's long anyway, and I need to stop rambling so this doesn't keep happening. Next thing I got is books. Okay, I have Avatar The Promise Part 3. Um, I- Okay, this thing, I don't even know where to start. I've heard bad things about it so far, but I mean, heard bad things about the first two, too, and I wasn't huge fans of them, but I got kind of into them, but then I got really pissed off at the end of part two, and I skimmed through this earlier and pretty much don't think what pissed me off so much is going to be resolved in here, but um, I'm still going to read it because I'm an Avatar fan and I have to know what happens, and... I, I, yeah, I'll do a review on it when I read it, obviously, but in the next book, this isn't going to surprise anyone, it's The Casual Vacancy. This book is so big, and I am so excited about this. I've heard mixed things about it. For the most part, what I've heard, most of the people who um, see are like huge, huge Harry Potter fans like me seem to like it, and people who aren't, I've heard some people say bad things and some people say good things. Um, it's a lot different than Harry Potter. I mean, I know, I'm sorry that I'm just filming a book randomly, but I know it's a lot different than Harry Potter. It has a lot more, like, mature content than Harry Potter. Um, and I think that's what turned a lot of people off of it. But I think knowing that ahead of time, like, being prepared for that, um, it, it apparently, like, I think I'm gonna like it. Possibly just because it's JK. I hope I don't like it just because it's JK Rowling. I think I've reached the point where she could pretty much write anything and I would become obsessed with it. But hopefully I like it for other reasons too. Um, I don't know much about it. I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, I've heard things at this point and I know what the basic idea of the book is, but I don't, I haven't looked into a ton of stuff because I want it to kind of be a mystery when I read it. But I will be reading this soon because I can't put off reading the J.K. Rowling book. I've put it off long enough. So I may read this next, I may read this after the book I'm reading now, which is a book about vampires. And I haven't read a book about vampires in quite a long time. And reading one about vampires is weird. Actually, I shouldn't even say that because the only books about vampires that I've read before this are Twilight. Because I don't like vampires because I don't like blood. But this book was free for the Kindle, and so I got it, and it's okay so far, even though I'm getting a lot of Twilight vibes, but I think that's just because of the vampire thing. So far the vampires in there seem to be way different than the Twilight vampires, but I just, I'm gonna compare vampires and everything to Twilight probably for the rest of my life, which probably isn't good. I need to stop talking about that, I wanna talk about the yearbook. <laughs> this is the last thing I have to talk about, and I save this for last because I'm probably gonna rant about this for a really long time. You've been warned. So. Um, if you've been watching my videos or following me online for a long time, you know I worked on the yearbook staff last year, my senior year, so I helped make this book. I'm pretty sure this Rebel Man was my idea. I think. I know I helped come up with a Facebook theme at the over the summer with Miss Kiltzig, because I was the only one that showed up to the yearbook workshop. And we talked about doing the Facebook theme, and then it ended up being the theme, so our book instead of F book for Facebook, and that's my high school year. And this is a collage of kids' um, faces, school pictures, whatever. And this is our mascot, the Rebels, because we're South Spencer, so Rebels. And then our biggest rival is North Spencer, the Patriots, Civil War references, yay. Um, anyway, and then on the back, this is like the administrators at our school. That's a picture of my school. I don't go here anymore, so I guess I can tell you guys this. But, um... I'm sorry for the people from my school whose pictures are about to be seen in here. This is graduation invitations. Okay, this 12, we do this like every year. Like the only tradition we have with the yearbook, basically. All the seniors' names are in here multiple times. And one cool thing about mine is there's Haley, and then you go up to the two, and Keller. My name was the one that got in the split between the two. I just thought that was cool. So, yeah. One thing about this yearbook that I have to mention, um, my sister is in it three times, and I am in it eight times. And if you knew our personalities, you would realize how weird it is that I got in the yearbook more times. 
and I'm actually in shock when I found out I was in it eight times, which was earlier today, because on the yearbook staff, we weren't completely done with the yearbook when I left at the end of the year. So, because, like, one thing, like, I'm on the graduation page, and we hadn't had graduation when I left. So, um, it's really weird because I've never been in the yearbook this much. I'm usually in the yearbook, like, once other than my picture, and this time I'm in it eight times, and I was only in it, like, three times when I left, so I got added, like, five more times before the end of the year, and so it was kind of shocking. I was flipping through, we have an index this year to show, this is the first time we've had one, I think, that shows, like, what pages you're on, and I was flipping through the yearbook on my own, and I kept finding myself, and I'm like, this is weird, I am never in the yearbook this much. Oh, hey, I opened right to K's. So we're going to find myself. Hey, there's my sister's name. There's a glare on this. You can't see it. But I'm on page two. So we, st we started off early, guys. I'm going to go to like every single... I'm not going to show tell you which ones that I worked on. Where are the page numbers? Okay, some people didn't put page numbers on their thing like they were supposed to. And that always annoyed me last year because I want page numbers. And I don't like that people don't put page numbers. I, I have a love-hate relationship with this yearbook. We worked on it so much that I want to love it, but I don't because I got so annoyed with it last year. Okay, this is page two. Where am I in this? I don't even think I saw myself in this before. I didn't know I was on this page. But according to the index, I am. But I don't see myself. So I don't know what's going on with that. Huh. See, I didn't think I was on this page. I don't know why I'm tagged on this page. Weird. Oh, I'm over here. Okay. That's me in my English class. Actually, funny story about that picture. Okay, I think David took that picture. Because I was taking pictures in English class of our group stuff. And then, um... When it was our group's turn, I think David took the camera from me and started taking pictures. And we're actually done in that picture. And I think I'm walking back to the desk. And he just kept taking a ton of pictures. But, yeah. So, I'm in, like, the very first page of the yearbook. Awesome. And then, <laughs> this is going to be so long. I'm sorry, guys. What's the next page? I'm sorry that I'm showing everyone's names. I probably shouldn't be filming this. Nine. Not like anyone's going to look at it anyway. Um... I'm going to get in trouble for this video, aren't I? Like, showing things to people. There are no page numbers. Where is the... I don't know what page 9 is, because this is why we were told to lock the page numbers. That's 15, 6, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay. I was on the page. Nice, Haley. Um, we were told to lock the page numbers at the very beginning, and no one ever did. And I don't see myself on this page either. Oh, I'm right here. It's the same English class. Let's just take a moment to appreciate that they seem to take use the pictures that David took and none of the ones that I took. So, even though I'm on the yearbook staff. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we were actually doing our thing there. There's me, Kayla, G. I talk about G a lot. I think she was kind of in one of my videos and that she was filming me. So, yeah, English class. We were demonstrating, we had to do a skit to demonstrate a vocab word is what we're doing. We did it all the time. Um, 24 is the next page I'm on. <sighs> We're just gonna do this the whole time. If we come- oh, hey, G and I made this page. It's the Halloween page. I never dressed up for Halloween, so I'm not on this page. But I helped make it. Notice how it's, um, orange for Halloween. I'm gonna rant about this yearbook forever. Guys, this took up so much of my time senior year, you don't even understand. Um, <laughs> I could say so much about making this yearbook. But interesting story about this page. G and I had the Halloween page, April, and I can't even remember who all had the blood drive page right next to it, and decided, okay, I have mentioned multiple times my phobia of blood, put a freaking picture of a pack, a, like, pack of blood, whatever you call it, on this page three times, three times, and every time I go to work on the Halloween page, because you can see both, I had to magnify this so I couldn't see this side because it freaked me out. Like, I'm not even looking at it right now in the thing because I can't. I mean, I, I, and I, I told April, I'm like, thank you so much for doing that when I have a phobia of blood. Thanks. 
So, 